Well, now to another look at the impacts of inflation. The rising food prices are causing grocery stores and restaurants alike to fight for consumers' hard-earned cash while also trying to keep their bottom lines intact. Joining us now is News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan. So, Lydia, with the prices of certain foods continuing to rise, restaurants having more buying power, is there value for people in eating out rather than buying all those groceries at the store? As prices are surging across the board, we're seeing both grocery stores and restaurants trying to make it as palatable as possible to get people to come to them. And the best way to stand out in this environment is with a deal. And both parties recognize that. Now, there's a few changes because historically it's been 3.4 times more expensive to eat out. But as inflation is pushing costs higher, we're looking at the delta between eating out and eating in actually decrease. Groceries are up about 12% year over year, while the cost of eating out is up just 8% year over year. I also think it's important to differentiate between going out to a steakhouse, which is always gonna be much pricier than eating in, and going to a fast food or a fast casual chain. Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King's, some of those fast food chains are really trying to offer a lot of deals to people at this time. And they say because of um, their vast network, they're able to get food for less and able to bring it to customers for less. So I think in the case of going out to eat for fast food, that's probably at this point cheaper than eating in. Wow, that's pretty incredible. So you mentioned some of these deals. We're seeing grocery stores specifically offer more bulk purchase deals, restaurants bringing back all you can eat, other meal deals. How well do you think these strategies are working to get customers through the door? Well, I mean, I think we're still seeing what the outcome of these sort of wars for, for customers is doing, but it's interesting. There is one study that found um, 50% of people say that they are spending more on restaurants this year. Now, of course, a lot of that has to do with inflation. A lot of those people are blaming the high costs um, of you know price hikes is the reason they're spending so much more than they typically would. But it, it seems like people are actively responding to deals. And when they see an all-you-can-eat um, buffet or something that's more reasonably priced, they're going to take advantage of it. All right. Why not? Well, Lydia Moynihan, thank you for your insight as always. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.